Starting seated somewhere comfortable. Just allow this moment to sink in. Take a few deep breaths. Maybe more than a few deep breaths in and out through the nose as we start this yoga practice. And yoga being so much more than the poses that we do, noticing and coming back to this breath using it to be our guide for our practice and also just to show us and share with us how we are feeling and how we are showing up. So when you slow down your breath, we can start to slow down all the thoughts and all the mental chaos that happens throughout the course of the day. So filling the lungs from bottom to top, feel it pour up down from the bottom all the way to the upper chest and as you exhale everything descends softens for this practice we uh, do a breath style called ujjayi pranayama which means a slight constriction in the back of the throat with with uh with more heat being built and sound like an ocean wave. All right, and then simply soften those shoulders, maybe give it a big shoulder roll. Reach those hands up, we can inhale. And reach the hands to the front, coming to the hands and the knees. Let's do a few cat and cow poses to get into some of that spinal movement. And core strengthening. And then back to more of a neutral position. Step the feet straight back into plank pose. Soften the knees and send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just a quick downward dog. Pedal the feet a couple times, shake out the head, and then walk the feet forward very slowly, one step at a time, just a few inches, and then feet go right behind the hands. Bend the knees, create a soft and long body, lengthen the neck and grab the elbows or the shoulder, not shoulders, elbows or the forearms. And really start to release or relax here. Head is heavy, breath is still steady, fluid. We add a little sway side to side to get into those legs and longer back. Then release the hands down to the floor, bend the knees and roll yourself up to a standing pose. Heel toe the feet a little closer together. And we will begin with our sun salutations. Palms forward. Good. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, open the arms, dive down, hinge at the hips. Inhale to flat back, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank, lower into chaturanga right away, hugging the elbows in and gazing at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift that heart, flatten the toes or point the toes, up dog. Downward facing dog, hips up high, tailbone back. Five deep breaths in your down dog. Here's one. Two. Three, four, five. Step the feet forward or jump forward. 
to that forward fold, lifting on the inhale, half lift, only part way. Exhale, forward fold, a little deeper. Inhale, arms reach out, rise up. And then hands come down, either to your heart or to your side. Good, inhale, reach up again. Big circle sweep of the arms. Exhale, dive down, swan dive. Open up, forward fold. Lengthen, inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga, elbows hug the rib cage, chest floats forward. Lift the heart up or dog. Exhale, down and facing dog. Again, five breaths, a great place to build strength and calm and to get comfortable, soon becoming a resting pose here. If it's ever too much though, or you feel your breath getting lost or your wrists bothering you, take the knees down and sit back in child's pose. Even for just a breath can be a good little break. Especially as we hold these multiple down dogs throughout this warm up. On that last exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward. Half lift, inhale. Listen to that breath, exhale, full breath out. Inhale, rise up, open those arms. Reach up, connect the hands, look up, and then let it go. Again, one more sun salutation, A. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lengthen that back. Exhale, step back or jump back. Chaturanga, lowering about 90 degrees in the elbows. Lift to upward dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. One. Two, three, four, And five, step or jump forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold lower. Inhale, rising tall, open those arms, look forward, reach up. And then hands come down, mountain pose. Chair pose, bend the knees, sit back. Some salutation, B. Connect the hands at the top, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hands towards the floor, long leg. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back or jump back. Plank lowering down to chaturanga right away on that exhale. Inhale, up dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale, pause. Take a deep breath in, preparing that right foot to come forward. Exhale, step between the hands. Low lunge, right foot. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Rise those arms up, raise those arms up. Connect the hands, look up, bend that front knee. Exhale, back down. Step back, plank to chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg will step forward next. Lift the left leg or first prepare by taking a breath in. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Back foot spins to the floor, seal the blade of the foot, rise up, warrior one. And then back down, nice flowing motion. Press into the hand, step back, chaturanga, lower. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Looking awesome, good job. Let's do five breaths in down dog. One. Two. Three, four, 
four, and five. Step or hop forward. Half lift, exhale forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit back, bend the knees, reach up. Then stand up tall, hands come down, exhale. Once again, bend the knees, open those arms, reach up, make this more meditative. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, press the heels down or prepare that right foot. It might lift behind you. Exhale, step between the hands. Warrior one, reach up, rise up, bend deep in that right knee, hands connect. Exhale to the floor. Step back, lower down. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg gets ready, inhale. Step between the hands, exhale. Warrior one, reach up. Hands to the floor, exhale. Step back, chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Tuck the chin so you're looking back, belly draws up and in. And try to engage the quads, imagine your knees lifting as you press the heels down. I lost count. Let's do two more breaths. Good, then bend the knees. As you finish that exhale, step or hop forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, sit back, reach those arms up. And then let that go, hands come down. Mountain pose. One more time, bend those knees, reach out and up. Chair pose, exhale, forward fold. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, step back or jump back, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in. The right foot steps forward, exhale. Back heel down, rise for warrior one. And back down to the ground. Step back, shift forward as you lower. Inhale, up dog. Down and facing dog, exhale. Left leg rises or prepares. Exhale, step between the hands. Warrior one, reach up. Hands to the ground. Step back. Chaturanga. Last vinyasa for this warm up anyway. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And last five breaths count for our sun salutations. There's two. Three, four, and five. Step or hop forward, half lift. Exhale forward, fold. Bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, reach up. And release it, hands come down. Step the feet a little wider, hands on the hips. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, look up. Exhale, grab the big toes with your peace sign fingers. Wrap and hook around, fold forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows and pull yourself down and through, nose cutting in between the knees. And the forehead or the top of the head towards the ground. See what you can give for a little bit more length in the legs.
You'll then lift up about halfway, take an inhale, slide the hands underneath the feet as you exhale, stepping on the tops of the hands, and pull yourself down, helping with a little wrist release as you shift your weight forward into the balls of the feet. All right, release that, the hands from the feet. Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, rise up. And step the feet together. And then face actually the same direction as you guys. So, here we go. From the top to make it a little easier. So the right foot steps back into this wide stance. Triangle to the back of the room. Pivot to the back. Right toes facing the props. Reach long with that right hand. Slide it down the leg. Maybe to the top of the foot or grabbing that big toe. Left hand reaches straight up and look up towards the left thumb. Keep the shoulders soft and out of the ears and length reaching through both sides of the waist. Lifting back up, rise and inhale. Use your core strength to lift you. Pivot to the front. Left hand reaches towards the flower of life up here. Reach long towards left, beyond the left toes. Slide that left hand down the ankle, down the leg. Right arm reaches up. This should feel like a little bit of a twist. As you continue pulling that left hip crease up and back. And then rising back up, inhale. Returning back to, towards the props again, this time a twisted triangle, so hands can start on your hips, facing the back of the room. Left hand reaches towards the back wall and place that left hand on the inside or the outside of the foot. Traditionally, it's the outside of the foot, but you've got to do what works for you. And then rotate through the shoulders and the waist, keep straight legs, right arm either up or on the hip, hand on hip, to support the shoulder. But see if we can pull your shoulder, right shoulder to meet above the left. So it's this nice stacked, twisted triangle. And you'll, you will have to adjust the feet from that first triangle pose for more stability. Okay, lift it and switch it. Rise up, little windmill of the arms. Left toes face the front. Turn the right heel towards the back. Again, adjust so the hips can face the front. Right arm reaches forward, straight legs. Right hand comes down towards the floor. Could be even be on the ankle or even the thigh if that's needed today. Then turn the upper body. You got this. Press into that bottom hand. Reach the left arm up. And then rise up, inhale, open towards the right side of the room. Step to the top of the mat. And in between, reach those arms up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale, step back, plank pose to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog, exhale. Right away, let's step to the top of the mat or jump there. Half lift, exhale, forward fold. Stand up tall, reach up. And hands come down. Side angle, we'll start with the right foot stepping back again, turning to the back of the room, wider stance. Pivot so the right toes face the back. 
of the mat. Bend the knee, bend the right knee. Open the arms, take the right elbow to the thigh, left arm up, and then sneak the right hand on the inside or the outside actually. Traditionally in Ashtanga, it's outside of the foot so that you're pressing your right knee towards your right tricep or shoulder. Left arm can reach up or extend forward towards the back wall, palm facing down. All right, rising back up. You can make a loop with that top arm, rise up or help yourself up by pressing into that front knee. Shift to the front of the room, left knee bends. Reach it long, elbow starts on the thigh, perhaps right arm high, or sneak the hand on the outside of the left foot. Extending that right arm forward, keeping the hips low, that straight line, a powerful straight line from fingertips to right toes. Gaze up towards that top hand. It rising back up. You can make a loop with that top hand, bring it down, up and around. Pivot back to the back of the room. Bring that back heel, left heel lifted up, knee comes down. Back knee down, left knee down. There you go. You get a twist across over that right leg. Left elbow twists across the right leg, right knee. Press the right palm on top of the left hand for the kneeling twist. Then getting into this deeper, you can lift the back knee, perhaps open those arms for a twisted lunge. Any variation that suits your practice today. We'll be here a few breaths so that you can explore and feel it. And then releasing that, we get to come up and switch back to the front of the room. Through that star position, pivot on the heels. Right knee comes down to the floor. Right elbow hooks over the left leg. Left hand stacks over on top of the right. And then finding your lunge variation with that twist here. Staying in prayer hands or opening the arms. Okay, releasing that rise up, press into that front leg. We open to the side of the room. Step forward. Good, again, reach up, inhale. There we go, exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Step or hop back to plank pose. Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step or hop forward again. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale, reach out and up. Hands come down. You're gonna step that right foot towards this side and hold it on this towards the right side, wide legs. Toes parallel to each other, legs perpendicular or parallel each other hands on your hips roll the shoulders back take a deep breath in lift exhale hands come down to the floor in your forward fold wide legs maybe even turn the heels out a little bit more lift up halfway taking that inhale and then lower it back down exhale release relax the head hands stay stacked underneath the elbows you can even ground down through the hands. Okay, 
You lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, hands on your hips, put a slight bend in the knees. Rise up, inhale. Roll the shoulders back, exhale. Inhale, reach the hands long, out wide, wall to wall. Take the hands back on the waist or the hips. Inhale, look up. Keep the hands as they are, forward fold. Second time, but the hand position is different. Keep the shoulder blades squeezing, elbows up towards the sky. All right, rise up, take that inhale, all the way up. Exhale, shoulders down, soft gaze. Inhale, arms long. Third one, interlace the hands behind the back. Press the palms together, squeeze and look up. Exhale, forward fold, keep the hands connected. Do your best to keep the palms pressing. and rise back up. We've got one more. Take the hands on the hips, pause. <sighs> Shoulders back, inhale, look up, little back bend. Exhale, grab the big toes with your peace sign fingers, index finger, middle finger, and pull down as you fully exhale into that um, wide forward fold. This should be the deepest one yet. If you get your head to the ground, just leave it soft there. So we're not trying for a headstand or anything today. Okay, lift halfway, take the hands off the toes and onto the floor, inhale. Exhale, a little soft bend in the knee as you take your hands on your hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, softer, and then step to the top of your mat. Let's do that sun salutation again. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees, step or jump forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, rise up, inhale, and hands come down. We've got one more pose that involves this little spinning back and forth. So we step back, not quite as far, hands behind the back, reverse prayer, knocking the fists together, turn to the back of the room, straight legs, pyramid pose style. So the back heels down, shoulders back, straight legs, hips facing the back, and start to hinge at the waist or the hips. Lengthening the crown of the head forward. You'll feel this a lot probably through the right hamstring. Work to scissor those legs towards one another. And keep lifting the elbows towards the ceiling. Good, rising back up, lift, inhale. Pivot to the front, on the heels, shift from the side of the room to the front of your mat. Deep breath, elbows back, chest lifted, then hinge forward and down.
Good, lift back up, rise up towards the front of uh, the side of the room. Open your arms, give your wrists a little shake out and step forward to the top of the mat. Ooh. It's got a little bit dizzy there, so. so it's morning practice for you. All right, balance poses. Do that for this short section. Ground down through the left foot. Bring your right knee up. Good. Grab your big toe with your right fingers, left hand on the hip, and extend. Yep, yep. And anywhere in between that, so bent knee is great. So we'll get a lot of power on that bottom leg, spread the toes, squeeze the glutes. Then start a little lean forward process or lifting of that leg as you draw the nose towards the knee. You lift back up, just standing upright. Keep the hook of the toe or a hug of the knee. And leg goes out to the side at hip height. Balance is the, not the most fun thing in this, this whole year. So we do our best. If we're feeling stable and steady, take your gaze over the left shoulder. Back to the center. Hold it. Release the toe or the knee. Extend the leg forward, point the toe. So it might be down here, it might be up here. Pause. Lift a little higher, you've got this. Three, two, and down. Ooh, yeah. Okay, other foot goes down. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Right foot down, you can grab the big toe, or take hold of the knee, extend the leg forward as an option. Find a single point to gaze, keeping that drishti, that gaze point at a single unmoving point of focus. Leaning forward as we get deeper into this pose. Okay, lifting back up, standing upright, leg goes out to the side, external rotation. Look out past the opposite shoulder from that leg. Back to the center. And then lean forward. Wait, just kidding, we don't do that. We're gonna stay upright, let go of the toes. Got this? <sighs> Hands on the hips. Abs nice and strong, so avoid leaning back too much. We got count of three, two, and one. Ooh, yes. Give it that little leg wiggle shake. And then into the hips. And so this is our first deeper hip stretch. So it might you know, need a little bit of time to ease into. So ground down through the left foot. The right ankle can take a figure four variation or take the foot into the crease of the hip for the half lotus. Trying to point the knee down. We take the right hand behind your back. Find the arm or the big toe. And then there is the option to fold forward. Left hand towards the ground. Heel dig into belly, helping digestion. And straight left leg. Oh. 
<laughs> oh no, <laughs> are you okay? Okay. <laughs> this is one of those pretzel moves for sure. <laughs> Rise up. <laughs> All right, bring it down. Yeah, if we do yoga once a week, it's got to be a little challenging. <sighs> okay, other side. So we choose that figure four variation. You can stay standing upright too. You can really feel a lot going on with this rotation. Left hand around the back. Grab the arm or the toes. Maybe that hinge forward. All right, rising back up out of this one, slowly. Let it go. Here we go. Back to the top of the mat. Palms forward, reach up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, come into that half lift, inhale. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, down and facing dog, exhale. Take it forward, step or hop, feet together, bent knees, sit back, chair pose, reach up. Pause on chair pose, palms connect, or they can go apart for a little softness in the shoulders. Get lighter in the toes. Okay, one more deep breath, reaching a little longer with those arms. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, step or hop back. Go through that vinyasa once more. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Pause here, take a deep breath in. And then step your right foot between the hands. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Reach it up. Connect the hands, look up. Bend deeper into that right knee. Press firmly through the back edge of the foot. When you pivot to the back of the room, keep the gaze up. Straighten the front leg and pivot to the back. Other side, warrior one facing the back of the room. And then from the direction that you're facing, open the arms out to the sides, open the hips, warrior two, gazing over the left fingertips, left toes, stay facing the back, left knee stays bent. And then back to the front of the room, pivot on the heels, right knee bends, right toes face the front. And then extended reach forward, hands come down towards that right foot on the ground, step back, plank, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, and downward facing dog, exhale. Good, then look forward, bend the knees, step or hop through the hands, so you're sitting down, so you get to sit all the way onto the ground. 
Extend the legs forward. We'll do a few seated poses here. Thighs roll and toes pull back. Press down through the hands, shoulders back. And extend through the heels. Maybe even lift them for this strong L shape, Dandasana staff pose. And then reach those hands up, inhale. Take it forward, exhale. Finding the toes or the feet. We'll simply do this forward fold, just one variation of it. And lift back up, rise, inhale, take the hands behind the back, point to toes, press down, lift the hips, reverse plank. Shoulders squeeze, hips rise a little higher, try to get the big toes to touch the floor. Good. And then slowly lower back down. Keep the right leg extended, left foot to the inner thigh. Reach those arms up, inhale. And directly over that straight leg, exhale, fold forward. You can grab the foot, the wrist, or rest the forehead on the shin. Good, and lift back up, inhale. Take the left knee, bend it or lift it. Take the foot about a hand distance away from the thigh. Left elbow on the inside, reach long. Then take the left hand around. You can just press into it or take it around to bind. Right hand reaches behind the back too. And lean forward. Another variation of this is simply hugging and lifting. It's a good stretch for the back of the body and keep that right leg active. Good. And one more pose on this side, release that. You can take your foot a little closer to the thigh, twist over towards that left knee, left hand behind you, right arm reaches up, Exhale, elbow to the knee or hug the knee, or there is a bind option here as well. And release the twist, inhale, let it go. Maybe look over your right shoulder for a moment. And then switch legs. Left leg extends, right foot to the inner thigh. Reach up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Over that straight leg, everything lines up towards the toes of the left foot. Okay, lift that up, inhale. Take the knee up and a little farther from, just create some space, a little farther from the thigh. Right arm on the inside. You can use that left hand to help push you forward. Reach long, 
and wrapping around the leg, hugging the knee towards the shoulder. Maybe a half bind, no bind, hug, full bind. And as you stay here, wherever you are, work this forward folding motion. So drawing your nose to your toes. Good, and lift back up, release that bind, release that arm. Take the foot to the, uh, closer to the leg. Lift up tall, right hand to the base of the back at the bottom on the floor behind you. Left arm reaches up tall. Exhale, hug the knee, your elbow goes across the knee as you twist. Your knee can even sneak onto the uh, inside or of the body or across the opposite leg, lifting up that left or right sit bone, just a little bit. And then release that twist. Look over the left shoulder for a moment. And then bring both feet, extend them for a second. Give it a little wiggle of the legs, even it out. And then pull the feet in, knees open wide. Hold on to those feet, take a deep breath in, and lean forward. Elbows to the thighs, heart forward. Okay, take a deep breath as you lift up just a part way. And this time round the back a little bit more. Try to get the nose to the toes, forehead down. Purposefully trying to lengthen the back of the body. All right, lifts back up, inhale, take the knees together, lean back, lift the legs, reach forward, boat pose. Three boat poses today. You can lengthen the legs or keep them bent. Five breaths, each boat pose. Then cross the ankles, take the toes down. I'll do this version. Take the toes down, hands down. Try to lift your bottom off of the floor. And we sit back down, back to boat pose. We've got two more. Five full deep breaths. And then cross the legs, other direction, toes down, hands down, try to lift. And then lower one more time, boat pose. Heart lifts a little more, shoulders get softer. Two more breaths. And now as you cross the ankles, roll forward, all the way forward, step back or jump back, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, down and facing dog, exhale. Once again, taking it through to a seated pose, so you might jump through or step forward, sit down, feet to the top of the mat, reach forward and roll yourself down to your back. 
Give your knees a nice squeeze in. Setting yourself up soon for bridge pose. So feet come down, hip distance, knees bent a lot. Palms down next to the feet or towards the feet. Press into the heels and lift the hips. The low back, mid back, and shoulder squeeze together. You might interlace the hands behind you. Creates more space between your back and the floor. And then release that pose, coming back down to the ground. Just pause, find an in-between neutralizing place. And we'll do that one more time where I'll give you the option for that full wheel pose, or Urdhva Dhanurasana. So you can choose bridge or wheel, placing those feet back down. Maybe lift those hips back to where you were. Or flip the hands underneath the shoulders, elbows towards the sky, press into the hands and the legs and finding a deeper back bend. And you might come in for a second, notice how it feels, and find a place that works better for you. And then lower back down wherever you are. You can take those knees side to side or give your knees another hug to reverse the act, action happening in the back, make it more of a stretch. Good, and then take those legs straight up towards the sky, just above the hips. So if your back, your neck are feeling okay and you'd like to press to shoulder stand, your elbows press down, lift the hips above your shoulders, hands on the low back. And hips then stack above the shoulders. But wherever you are with your feet lifted high, you're finding this nice inversion that creates a relaxation effect. If you're up in shoulder stand, take those feet way behind you for plow pose. Hands interlace, legs extend, hands might interlace if your toes touch down. And then bend the knees wherever you are so you can slowly roll down out of this pose and onto your mat. Hug both knees in close to you. As you come down with your tailbone towards the floor, grounded, knees hug in. Then take both legs down to one side, picking a simple twist to either side. Opposite arm and shoulder stays down. And then switch sides, we lift up. Other side, twist.
And then bring the legs back up to the center. Give them one more nice squeeze in or grab the feet for happy baby pose. Rocking side to side. And then finding your way into a relaxation pose. And that could be Shavasana or corpse pose. This is our time for Shavasana. So let the feet fall open, hands rest by your side. Or maybe you choose to bend the knees today in whichever way makes you feel the best. So time for relaxation. To let go and fully surrender to this space.
And start to take a deeper breath in. Full letting go exhale. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. And take a long stretch, reaching, finding some energy back into your body. And then bend the knees and roll to your side to complete this wonderful practice. Press your top hand into the ground to help you sit back up to a seated pose. A comfortable and hopefully by now a taller seated pose. You can keep the eyes closed or gently looking down towards the ground. Just pause here and notice how you feel. Notice your breath again. And what's happening in this moment. So taking with us the lessons that we personally learn in our yoga practice, taking them with us out into the world. Let's take those hands up and reach up, connect the hands, sealing everything in, all that goodness, draw the hands to your heart. Take one more deep breath, inhale. And let it go. Exhale. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining in Saturday morning yoga. Namaste.